today we're going to be showing you a method to curl the hair and this is one that we've been using for a while and all you're going to need is some nylons and if your house is like mine we get holes in our nylons pretty much every time we use them and so we just save them and cut them up some of these are like toddler nylons you can just cut one leg for each curler but you want to make them about six to eight inches long and her hair is damp here. It's not like soaking wet, but it is damp so that the curl will hold. If you do it super wet, it's going to take a long time to dry, so you just want it damp. But grab a section, and you can roll these up horizontally or vertically, whichever way you prefer. But all you're going to do is just stick the nylon on the end of the hair, and then fold the end over the top and just roll it up just like you would a curler and then when you get to the top of her head you're just going to tie a knot with the ends and so this is why you want the strips fairly long you just need enough that you can tie a knot and I usually just do a half of a knot and it holds great just like that if you want to fold a full knot you can do that as well if you think it's going to hold better I'll just show you one more time we really like these curls because you don't need to buy anything. I think pretty much everybody has nylons hanging around their house that have been ruined. And these are also pretty comfortable to sleep on. They're soft and stretchy and like some rollers that hurt your head. And then the bigger sections of hair you take the more loose the curls are going to be. If you take tiny sections, you're going to have really tight curls. Okay, so I'm just going to finish going around her head, and then we'll show you what it looks like when they're all in. So we've got all of these in. Here's what it looks like with them all rolled. We only used seven socks on her whole head. You could use more if you want tighter curls, but we're kind of going for looser ringlets here. So we're going to let these dry, and then we'll show you what it looks like when we take them out. Okay, so here we are the next morning. She slept on these overnight and gave them time to dry. To take these out, all you need to do is just loosen up that knot and then unroll them. I do love how easy these are to take out. They don't snag or pull the hair like some curlers we've tried. And since they're stretchy, the knot usually just comes right out without any trouble. And as you can see, it's making some pretty cute curls. Okay, so that's what the curls look like. At this point, you'd probably want to separate them a little bit with your fingers, maybe spray with some hairspray. We are actually going to make an updo, so I'm just going to leave them just like this so that the curls will be intact for that. And I will link the video of the updo on this one when we get it uploaded.